is that all of history points to a moment when the groaning of creation, when the brokenness of our body, when the divisions of God's people will be forever interrupted and defeated, when Jesus the Christ arrives and the trumpets resound His arrival and He steps down on the Mount of Olives and the veil that separates our eyes from seeing into the heavenlies will be forever moved away and there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And those who are dead in Christ will rise and there will be no more fear, there will be no more sin and you will stand before the judgment seat of your Creator. And like a kid at Christmas who wants to be first to open his gift, you will raise your hand and say, Judge me first. Let me go. And Jesus will look at you and he will say to his father, See my son or daughter. They were dead. They were running away. They rejected me. But I loved them first. And they fell in love with me. And they repented of their sin, and my spirit gave their spirit new life. The old is gone, the new has come. Let me share with you, Father, all that they have done by being given new life. And when you stand before the judgment seat of Jesus, it will be the best day of your entire life because for the first time, you will be able to celebrate with the angels purely and fully all the ways, even the unknown ways that Jesus saved you and changed you. And Jesus will tell a story about a child coming home. He'll tell a story about a person who was dead that he raised to a new life to a house that was built not with hands, but with a spirit that was the guarantee, the down payment of a resurrection that has now come. And he will stand before his father and he will look at you as his child. And he will say, look at what he has done in my name, through my spirit, for my glory. And he will look at you and say, welcome home, good and faithful servant. And that's the gospel.